Welcome to Bulwark. I think you already knew that, though. But uh, this is my objective way of advanced fighting, quote-unquote. Uh, take what I say with a grain of salt. I am only level 3,000, but I think I've seen enough people fight uh, to talk about the advanced fighting, like mix-ups, playstyles, and quote-unquote techs, techniques. I, I, don't know what, I don't know what to call it. Uh, I'm going to go over in a random order as well as how I think people fight. By the way, this is purely my opinion, so uh, let's get to it. So first, dragging. Dragging is simply moving yourself opposite to your weapon. This is more useful on slow moving weapons or long range weapons. It simply just delays the attack, so when people parry you can drag, wait for their parry window to disappear, and then hit them. And if you're like me, using two mouses to try and, uh, and drag. <laughs> I found the best way to counter this is to get really close. For the arc of the weapon is smaller when you're closer, uh, it just has to cover less distance. Uh, welcome back to Algebra. If you look at the tip of their blade, the arc formed from their hands is smaller because, you know, that's how lines work. Uh, so if you parry it at, right next to them, you can parry most drags midway through most of the time. You have to run into their arc, basically uh, shortening the time it takes for the drag to complete so you know when to parry. Because when they're swinging, they can extend it for as long as they want. But if you run into the circle, you can force them to, try to hit you so you can force a parry. The next thing that covers weapon cooldowns. Some weapons have a really long cooldown after they get hit or a really long windup. And if you're using a faster weapon, most of the time you can hit them while they're stuck mid-animation. If you like to play aggressive, uh, there's something called dashing and hooking. Some weapons, like sickle and bill hook, let you pull people in. So if they're far away, you can pull them in or keep them mid-combo. With saber, you can dash, where every single swing sends you forward, which gives my favorite benefit of completely countering kicks. But having a slower swing speed, it'll, it still takes three hits with such a slow swing speed. But it's fair because you're dashing forward. Now we're going to move on to some stuff I don't really like. I find it kind of foul play, but it's still in the game, so all is fair. Uh, with the spear and the stick, you can animation cancel your attack. When you faint, if you spam left click, you can cancel the wind up after the faint and just swing. Now finally, the back hit, I don't know what to call this, is just if you turn around, most weapons start swinging from behind your head, so you can hit people in the start of the wind up. So now we're going to move away from the actual fighting and onto my theory, quote unquote, or what I call text or technique, whatever, whatever you guys want to call it. So I believe there's a spectrum of passive to aggressive, and each person falls in the spectrum. Some are more passive, while some are more aggressive. You can see here I'm backing up, and I'm waiting for them to miss their swing before I run in. But in this clip, you can see I'm full full aggressive, pushing in, I'm, I'm not stepping back. But in my opinion, it's mostly how confident a person feels in their skills. It's like at a point where two people are like writing 15 plus, it's more who control the other person harder, not really more about, oh, who's more aggressive, who's more passive. So yeah, this is all you really need to learn outside of combat. The rest you can learn from just fighting, like feigning, so they parry, and then you try and swing, feint, and then uh, block break them to get posture back, and for a free swing. Also, none of the music in this video is mine. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, bye.